My friend, May is quickly approaching us and as the energy of May begins to infiltrate and begins its influence upon us, I want to share a short energy update with you. If you know what to expect, then you know how to work with the energy that is transitioning into our world. When you know how to work with the energy, when you know how to flow with it, instead of resist it and push things away, but instead welcome it, you can ride that wave, baby. You can ride it right into the gates of your promised land. Let me tell you all about it. Hello, you glorious soul, you heavenly body. You like being here with a purpose, with promises of destiny, with promises of manifestations yet to come. What are the promises inside of you? What do they look like? Just think about that for a moment. Think about the bigness of it. What does that book look like? What does that business feel like to operate? What is that baby like to hold in your arms? What is that lover like to cuddle up tight in bed in the midnight hour? What is it like being a first division lottery winner? Just sit in the pocket of the assumption of that feeling for just a hot minute. Doesn't it feel great? Well, friend, I want to tell you that that is your purpose and your destiny to fulfill. Now, my name is Ben, you found Elevate. I'm here every single day. I don't ever miss a day. There's 1,300 or more videos on this channel that you can watch as soon as we are done here. We talk about this stuff all the time. Energy, vibration, frequency, the universe, living your best life, the brain sciences, it's all here, friend. Make sure that if this resonates with you, you give this um, video a comment so that I can put a heart on your comment. And in that moment, we're going to join our energy together, believing that this is your season to catapult forward. Because the energy update I have for you is not long, but it's serious. We are very quickly moving into the month of May, and May will be a powerful, powerful, one of the most powerful months to transmute energy this year. See, the energy that surrounds us, we don't get to see. You just don't. You can't see all of the TV channels playing right now unless you go turn your television on. Why? Because your television can tune into a frequency that is physical, that is measurable, that can carry information upon it, but you and I don't get to see it. In the room where you are right now is the whole internet. Imagine being able to download the entirety of the internet and browse it locally. Well, you could, because in the room where you are right now, it's full of Wi-Fi information, but you're human. Your human can't decode that frequency. You need a computer to tune in to that frequency. Friend, Tesla said it the best when he said, if you want to unlock the secrets of the universe, you've got to think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Now, all energy vibrates at frequency, and frequency does one thing. It carries information. I can go and turn my radio on and I can tune the frequency. And when I hit the right frequency, that frequency carries the information that that radio station is broadcasting. And I get to listen to Justin Timberlake or Taylor Swift or the Eagles or anything that I might want to listen to. Man, I was down an incredible music rabbit hole a few nights ago. Let me just tell you this and hopefully we'll get back on, crack, on, on, on track quickly. Um, put your hand up and tell me if you know Natalie Imbruglia. She's an Australian artist, although she's lived in the UK for many years. Um, she's just released some new music. Anyway, she had some incredible songs back in the, I guess, late 90s, early 2000s. And one of them was a cover of the song called Torn. In fact, that was her breakout hit. Do yourself a favour if you love a bit of music and you love music that moves you. Jump on YouTube and look up the song Torn by Natalie Imbruglia but performed live with the BBC Orchestra. It was only recorded a couple of months ago, but man, oh man, is it beautiful. Anyway, I don't remember what we were talking about. How did we get onto Natalie Imbruglia? I might even need to go back to my notes for this. Friend, the energy I updated, oh, that's right, we're talking, all right, I'm back. I'm, pencil's ready, let's go. So the energy update that I have for you is, is this. Energy exists all around you. 
information is carried on frequency. You can go and listen to Natalie and Brulia if you know the right frequency. Your human can't receive some frequency, but it can receive others. And what you're going to find in the upcoming month is there's going to be download after download available to you. There are going to be things that pop up into the awareness of your mind. They come as revelation. You might hear somebody say something. You incline your ear to that and you think about what it is that they say. It might have just been a one-liner in a movie. And you start to reflect on that and you, you start to gain some awareness even in your own life around whatever that might be. These are spiritual downloads. These aren't random happenings. These aren't things happening inside of a vacant mind. What they are is your spirit connecting. What they are is an energetic download, a transfer of information, a vibrational frequency carrying upon it information that will cause you to move forward. It might be something as simple as tuning into something different and seeing something presented in a different way, hearing something that you've not heard before, hearing something you have heard before, but suddenly it begins to take on new meaning. Be ready in the month ahead. Because the energy that is surrounding us and beginning to build is the energy that will carry you forward. You will receive this revelationary knowledge if you are open to it. You say to me, Ben, how do I open myself to that? I love this kind of knowledge. Be open. That's all you have to do. Listen to the nuances of the universe. When you see something and you think, oh, that's an odd coincidence. That's not coincidence. Stop saying it's good luck. It's not good luck. It's the unfolding of the glorious universe and you being tightly held by a loving divine. See, there are dreams in your heart for you to fulfill. There are a lot of moving pieces that need to come together for that to be fulfilled. In the fulfillment of your dream, the manifestation is not where the joy is. The joy is done when you traverse the landscape that leads you to your manifestation. That's where you learn. That's where you have the skills built and reinforced that will carry you forward. I had an incredible thing not so long ago happen in my own life. It was a little revelation. And this is a good demonstration of the sort of revelationary knowledge that you will begin to sense inside of yourself as this energy ramps up. And I want to share this with you so you see the mechanics of how it works. See, so often we go through things in life and we think, oh man, uh, we see it as a test, don't we? And we think, what have I got to do to get through this test? Maybe there's a problem in a relationship. Maybe there's some drama at work. Maybe there's some issues in your family life or in your finances. I don't know. But whenever we go through something, we, we seem to think that it's some sort of a test. But I had this incredible revelation not long ago when I was thinking about some things in my own life and thinking about, okay, you know, we, we know how to go through this. This is okay. We can move through this, no problems. The Spirit of God just dropped inside of me. Just, you know how it's like you know something before you know it. And what I knew was this. It's different this time. It's not about going through a test to refine a skill. You already have the skill, so it's not a test. Do you see the difference? We look at something as a test and we say, okay, we've got to prove ourselves. We've got to get through this. We've got to refine and hone our skills so we can move forward. This is what inner work is, but there comes a point where your inner work transitions from learning and being tested to God saying, you've already got the skill set to get through this with grace and dignity and purpose. You've already got the skills to manifest through this the dream inside of your heart. I've got to wind this up quickly. The battery lights come on. Friend, you can have revelations like this. This is what the energy is that's coming up in your life where you will feel like you're being tested and you'll recognize, hang on a minute, this is, this is not a test. I have the skills already to walk through this and come out of it without even the smell of smoke. Friend, this is the energy that's coming upon you. My encouragement is to focus on the still nudgings and the knowingness that exists inside of you. Your spirit already knows. That's why some things feel so familiar when they come as revelation. Incline your ear to the knowingness of your heart, not the bullyingness of your overthinking mind. 
Focus solely on your heart. Follow your dreams, your purpose, your passion. And this upcoming month will be the most powerful you've ever had and will set you up to march through the gates of your promised land. Do you believe it? If you do, tell me in the comments below. I love you. I'm thankful for you. See you tomorrow.